daily counsel with dark word mills. But God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, that no flesh should glory in His presence. First Corinthians chapter one, verse twenty-seven to twenty-nine. God gives His servants disguises. These disguises make the servant of God look weak, humble, and powerless. One, the disguise of being last. If any man desires to be first, the same shall be last of all, and servant of all. Mark chapter nine, verse thirty-five. Two, the disguise of being a servant. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. Matthew chapter twenty-three, verse eleven. Three, the disguise of infirmities. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I would rather glory in my infirmity, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Second Corinthians chapter twelve, verse nine. Four, the disguise of earthen vessels. But we have these treasures in earthen vessel, that the excellency of the power may be of God, and not of us. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse nine. Five, the disguise of afflictions. For our light afflictions. Which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse seventeen to eighteen. Do not be disturbed if the world does not recognize you in your disguise. They are not supposed to recognize you. Your disguise will make you look humble and lonely. Do not be misled, or do not misread the things that make you humble on this earth. God allows humbling things to happen to you and to be with you. However, when you appear in heaven, you will be shining and glorious. God giving disguises. Amen. For further readings, you can read First Corinthians chapter one, verse eighteen to thirty.